Hey, this is Avery. You're watching Avery and Things with Wait What Media Group, and I am here hanging out with Love Like Fiction. What's up, guys? Hi, I'm Paul. I'm in Love Like Fiction, and I slap the bass. <laughs> my name's Marina. I'm in Love Like Fiction. I play guitar. Hi, my name's Nick. Uh, I sing for Love Like Fiction. My name's Frankie, and I play guitar for Love Like Fiction. So you guys have a lot coming up, and you guys have done a lot recently. So to start, how long have you guys been a band for? Uh, we've been a band for just over a year now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's we've been working pretty hard. Um, yeah, came together um, July. Let's see here. July of last year. Yeah, yeah. July. And it was sort of uh, Marin and Tara running the show for a while. Frankie got pulled into it, and very shortly after, Paul and I showed up. So mm -hmm. Perfect. So what was the idea behind starting this? Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been in and out of bands since I was in sixth grade. Um, and... I don't know, I kind of gave up on it for a while because it just was never working out and stuff like that. And then I actually went to a Green Day concert and I was like, no, it's what I want to do. I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> uh, I worked at um, a restaurant with Tara and we weren't very close or anything, but I knew she played drums. So I kind of was like, hey, do you like pop punk? She's like, I love pop punk. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, cool. Like, You want to be in a band? And she was like, yeah, I'm so down. So we kind of just, you know, got the ball rolling from that point on. So. And then everybody else was online, wasn't it? Yeah, so everyone else we met online. It's like a Facebook or Instagram band just kind of came together. Just, yeah, <laughs> they yeah. All just showed up. Yeah, Not yeah. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> At least. Yeah. 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 For a newer band, you guys have very much so surpassed what I think a lot of local bands do this early on. I feel like a lot of local bands have to learn that you have to kind of reach a certain quality to begin with as well. It's a first impression. You're making a first impression. So it kind of takes a little bit to shed that skin. And you guys are doing very, very well so far. Is there any advice that you guys would give a local band just starting up, given that you are so new, especially? Um, you know, definitely hard work. I mean, at the basis of it, everybody always says that, but it's, it's true. Uh, sticking to uh, the music and doing what you love. And more so something that we found really, really helps us is to treat it as a family mm -hmm. uh, because if you can't stand the people that you're playing with you're not going to make it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's just that's really difficult but uh, the big focus is hard work and if you can push your boundaries push your limits and really reach out uh, to the resources that you have available and there are a lot of them um, then that's going to get you really far <laughs> yeah no and the 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 hard work side of it frankie and i were actually talking the other day about how we all really like each other, even though we spent a lot of time together. And we were doing the math and we've spent over 2000 hours together in the last year. Nice. And that's not including like going on or going out to Texas. It's yeah. not including being in the studio. That's just- Or even just hanging out. Practice. Yeah, that's just band practice alone. Yeah. yeah and that was crazy. just right out of the gate. It was, we all knew what we wanted to do and we knew there was a ton of work involved. And so it was just kind of like, Got to start somewhere. And seeing your presence online, you can tell that you guys are really close, which is kind of crazy that you just kind of met through this project and over the last year, that's pretty big. All cuddled up together on the couch is yeah. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so where'd the name Love Like Fiction come from? Uh, I wish Tara was here. Yeah, yeah. That was actually a her thing. Her and her friend were talking about, um, they were both writing a book at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and they were both kind of just talking about how, hey, you know, the best kind of love is in books and in movies and stuff like that. So it's like a love like fiction where it's almost unattainable, uh, unattainable, but like a fairy tale type mm -hmm. love. So that's kind of where it came from. We're like, oh, that's neat. Like, let's let's hold on to that. And so it's stuck. So as far as the writing process goes, how does that work for you guys? Is there somebody who's more of a heavy hitter on this end of it or is it just kind of a collaboration between all of you? Uh, it's majorly a collaboration, mm -hmm. like yeah. big time. Everybody will usually go home, write their own thing, or they have something in mind, and then they come through, and we just sort of piece it together from there. Uh, I write a lot of the lyrics, but I get a lot of help from Frankie and from everybody in the band, honestly. Uh, but that's the major way that we do it, is we just have a lot of people writing different stuff and bringing something new to the table, which is, honestly, I think is the best way to do it. Uh, because you get a little bit of influence from different places. Mm -hmm. And if you, if just one person is writing everything, uh, it's it's going to be very narrow usually. It's mm -hmm. just going to be one influence. So. so is there somebody that kind of heads that stuff off or do you guys all come together? Uh, that is Paul and, Paul Paul and Tara. Tara. Yeah. 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 We're Absolutely. mom and dad. We're mom. Yeah. <laughs> really, that's the best way to describe mm -hmm. it. I mean, uh, they tag team all of the business side of it uh, mm -hmm. entirely. Uh, they've worked tirelessly to 
research uh, what the next steps are for you know growing vans and stuff like that. So they've just killed it. Um, they've put in a lot, a lot of work. Do you guys think it helps and goes a long way to kind of divvy out the roles like that? It sounds like it's a little bit of kind of everybody doing a little bit of everything, which helps, I guess. It does help. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's we're also very open about like, hey, my workload's a little heavy right yeah, now. Hey, I need yeah. I need some help in this aspect. And, you know, we all hop on it as soon as we can. And, mm -hmm. and so we definitely make sure no one's getting a too yeah, heavy drowning. workload. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Is there a favorite song for any of you guys that you have out right now? For me, it's bipolar. Bipolar. The one that we have out right now, yeah. That's definitely the one. Uh, that was very near and dear to my heart. It was something that I carried for a long time before uh, coming to the band. And Frankie and I had a very <laughs> awkward writing session together when we first met, and it was uh, it was actually a lot of fun in hindsight. And a lot of Mike's hard lemonade. A lot of Mike's hard lemonade. <laughs> Not sponsored, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, yeah, that one is very near and dear to me. Uh, it is dealing a lot with mental illness, and I know a lot of people struggle with that, myself included. Uh, so it was really nice to be able to get that out and uh, to have, get the reception that it did. We had a lot of people who um, have really sort of identified with that, and that's really, really cool. Yeah, that's my first introduction. That was bilingual baby. I'm bipolar. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've said that a lot too, by the way. <laughs> it sounded familiar. Coming yeah, it really did. I was like, hey, I remember this. <laughs> So that's good. So we got one. Is there any more aside um, from that? Any good stories? My favorite, at least, is on the EP that's coming out. It's mm -hmm. called Subject to Change. And um, that one's just a good one. You sing along to it. It's very catchy. But on um, on hindsight of that, it's kind of about us being a family and a band and how like we can kind of conquer everything that we need to as long as we stick together. Yeah. Um, so I really do like that aspect of it because when I just listen to it, I'm just like, oh, this is my family, man. You know, like, <laughs> it feels at home. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, just nice. How long is your EP going to be? Five songs. Five songs. That's five exciting. Five, five. five more. Yeah. How long did it take you guys to hash out? Do you have like extra songs that you had to kind of take away from, or did you really have to focus on building these five songs? There was a lot of focusing. I think yeah. these five songs. Uh, Give, give or take how long they took to write, we definitely spent the last year uh, kind of like perfecting, like trying trying stuff out before, you know, we had what we wanted. If that kind of makes sense. It does. Yeah. 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 Deciding where you're yes. to go as a band. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's like, what are you supposed to sound like? It was, yeah. it was so, finding our sound, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the big one. yeah. A lot of it was that, for sure. Mm -hmm. And you guys already hashed out music videos, too. How was that whole process? <laughs> <laughs> it's stressful. It's really stressful. Yeah, it absolutely is, but uh, it's worth it. I mean, uh, we're hoping to do more work with that here in the near future. And um, it, it's just getting it together, getting the idea right, and what we want uh, to portray in the music video. I think that's the hardest part um, because there are so many music videos out there, and, and there's so much different stuff that's going on. We want to find something that speaks to people but is and is relatable but of course is something new and fresh and that's that's hard yeah but and you also and you also have five different interpretations yeah. of the same song yeah. And yeah. just trying to sit down and, and find like that i guess common denominator when it comes to every part in the subject and, and writing and <clears throat> and whatnot so we just went over your guys's music videos what shows do you guys have coming up uh, so we have a, a really big one coming up. It's our EP release. We're actually doing a dual EP release with Victory tonight. Uh, RX Soul is going to be there as well. Uh, Promise to myself and um, the takeover. The takeover. That's the last one. As well as DJ Fritz is going to be there. It's uh, this huge bash. It's sort of Halloween themed, so we're, we encourage people to show up in costume. Mm -hmm. We're really excited about it. And essentially, um, it's sort of uh, like an emo night. It esque but it's a uh, halloween mom is what we decided yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we gave it a horrible pun we gave so it a can't horrible pun name yep. yeah Fall um, hard for that exactly <laughs> <laughs> so it's going into the early hours of the morning uh with the dj set after all the bands have played mm -hmm. and we're super super psyched about it uh other than that we are playing with assuming we survive and do you remember the date is it november 8th, 8th. november 8th uh it's assuming we survived uh assuming we survive uh we were sharks mm -hmm. And after the, uh, after the calm, there we go. Not a bad lineup on that one too. You guys all yeah. sound so great together. I'm really excited yeah. about that one. Yeah. So, so far in your guys' history, what's been your favorite show? 
It's got to be Sum 41 for me. Yeah, Sum 41. I probably first sold everybody, but Sum 41 uh, is. That's a tough one, actually. Um, actually, you know, I have to say Sum 41, like from a professional standpoint, that was like a huge like milestone for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, honestly, our first show together, I, I had a really great time. Like, I thought that was such a cool thing to come together. And I know that it was a... I was dying. Which, which, which first show? Are you so talking nervous. about the afternoon show that we played? Yeah. Oh, okay. The, 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 the two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. That I, honestly, I, that was just a memorable show for me. And it was the first time we came together. So that, was, that meant a lot. Mm -hmm. You think it took that, you guys playing together for it to really click and decide, oh, this is, this feels good. Oh, totally, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you? Oh, definitely some 41. Was it? Oh, okay. yeah, 100%. <laughs> just the whole festival, outdoor, pool thing. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun. Green the room. kiddie pool filled with beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So That's I, always memorable. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, cool. You, it was like our first real green room. So you go in there and you see all this food and then literally a oh, huge yeah. kiddie pool with just tons of beer. Just yep. all different yeah. kinds of beer. It was like, oh, wow. Okay. Called my mom. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> this is how <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Must be nice. It must be nice for you guys to play with bigger bands too and see, oh, this is attainable. Like this is something that I can have. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Definitely. One of the things that um, I've talked to these guys about for sure is that it really is super attainable. Like if you work hard and you uh, you're really putting all your, I don't know, all the work into your instrument, um, you're gonna come out on top. Like these guys are phenomenal. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody we've played with, all of the big bands we've played with, these guys are just second to none, but they all got there the same way. They all just put in the work and put in the time and it's all it takes. It's really yeah. cool. All it takes and, you know, big measures. And yeah, yeah, a lot of luck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> years and years, of course, but, uh, you know, it just, just takes a while. <laughs> it just, it just takes some time, you know. A lot of commitment. A lot of commitment. It's yeah. all great. Yeah. <laughs> It is it is cool to to see things like uh, when we look into like, all right, what are these bands doing and watching what they do or seeing something that that we decide that we need to implement or uh, whether it's performance wise or whether, you know, it's moving around on stage or technical wise. And you see a big band and they're already doing it. And you're like, oh, cool. We picked the right way. Like we're doing yeah. we're doing OK. Yeah. We're all right. Yeah. We're all right. That's good to mirror yourselves after how that works, too. It's like, who better to show you how this all goes? Yeah. Which is, I mean, I feel like a really big disconnect for a lot of mm -hmm. bands just starting out. It's how are we supposed to do this? I know you do it, yeah. but how? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lot of fierce Googling. Late nights of just, where is it? <laughs> yes. How do big band <laughs> How do big band So we have your EP coming out. And once the release for that, how are you guys going to be dishing that out? So our actual EP release date is going to be October 25th. Mm -hmm. We do have a single that is coming out next Friday called Summer Days that's off mm -hmm. of the EP. And then uh, I believe that we're going to try and squeeze one more song out before, mm -hmm. before the release. Nice. Mm -hmm. So it's really coming out quickly. Yes. <laughs> and what are you guys' plans after that? Um, that is a lot of, you know, a lot of our plans are writing, honestly. We're and itching to write. We are itching to write yeah, really, are. really bad because a lot of uh, this year has just been working on getting songs out there because we are a new band and mm -hmm. we want people to have something to go home with and listen yeah. to as yeah. opposed to just seeing us live and then not being able to take anything with it. Yeah. So, yeah. Very fair. Is there anything you guys want to talk about or anything you guys are excited about moving forward? Anything that you'd want people to know about you? Um, yeah, absolutely. For me, at least, uh, something that I've been uh, really sort of vocal about is uh, mental health awareness and uh, just uh, being able to talk to people and uh, looking for help when you need it. Uh, a lot of our songs, because I write quite a few of them, uh, they deal with mental health or, or struggling and stuff like that. And I think it's really, really important that people do reach out when they need that help. Uh, and I just want to let people know that they're not alone. And uh, if my music and our music, sorry, can reach <laughs> that person or, or those people mm -hmm. and let them know that they are by themselves, then that that's a win for me. I feel like that's all I'm doing this for. So Yeah, that's, that's very good to hear. It's nice <laughs> to hear that there's a lot more in the undertone of that too. Especially in this day and age, I feel as well to have that as an outlet when it's easy for us to haha -ha, joke about it being dark and awful yeah. and gross, but not actually doing anything. Yes. Having that to be no, like let's do, let's be a little bit more open about this is a very good way to reach people. And I, I, I think, I think us focusing on the, uh, 
on the on the side of that it's you know the whole it's okay to not be okay thing but it's even okay to talk about things in a serious way mm -hmm. you know because we've all been there we've all had you know varying different levels of depression some of us have had suicidal thoughts some haven't but we all have <laughs> things that weigh us down just as just as bad as as anything else and to be able to set the tone, just being like, hey, this is serious and I don't feel okay. And to be able to send that message, I think is really important. Yeah. Not just the, you know, the humor side of it. Although, cause I mean, humor is helpful too. Very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's still a, a dialogue and it opening is. up that dialogue, but just being able to be like, oh, okay. Like I can get help for this. Like it's all right to. Yeah. Yeah. Aside from the funny stuff. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, other than that, we're super excited to put out more stuff. Um, we're super excited to just see where this road takes us and to continue growing. Um, I, I think I speak for all of the band when I say that this has been a huge adventure and, and it's been really, really great. Uh, and we're happy to have all of these people along with us. We've had an overwhelming amount of support from so many different people. And uh, that's been really, really surprising and awesome uh, to have because uh, without all of our fans and and the people who help us out we we don't have anything <laughs> like we, this is who we're doing it for yeah it's amazing to see when you put yourself out there what comes back to you on that end yeah, of it yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that's good to hear and where can you guys or where can people find you guys whether it's social media where to find your music where's all that stuff at everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's all at love like fiction mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, facebook twitter instagram uh we're all over the place we have a myspace we don't. don't have my <laughs> It'd be worth it just <laughs> if we can. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna see if we can set one up <laughs> right now. Perfect. So apparently MySpace now too, <laughs> and iTunes. I for sure have you guys on. I'm guessing Spotify as well. Google Music, Apple Music. We have our own website. It's just lovelikefiction.com. It's kind of landing page. What what we got going on? We've got bands and time linked to it, so you can see where the shows are. Yeah. Usually, what's going on on our YouTube. Um, and we have a store there too. Awesome, so professional laid out. I love it, you guys are so great. <laughs>